All right, so I just got a question about um uh, CAS and calculators, and I just think I just thought that I would uh make a video uh comparing some of the different types of calculators, and for the purposes of this video, we're gonna talk about graphing calculators within uh Texas Instruments, the TI family. So you have computer, uh, excuse me, you have calculators that are designated as a CAS or a computer algebra system, and a computer algebra system. It reads, it displays answers as if it was written in a textbook using a, uh, some, most of them use a format called pretty print, which allows that. Also, in a computer algebra system, you can actually manipulate the variables as if you're working the equation step by step. So, if you were to derive compl the completion of the square, um, you would first type in the quadratic formula, excuse me, the general standard form for a quadratic equation, x squared plus bx plus c equals zero and then you would perform the operations one by one. Alright, so um, there are different types of uh, CAS computer algebra systems in Texas Instruments. I have a, a TI-89 Titanium, and I plan to be using this for um, AP Calculus this year. There's also the TI-92, which is now discontinued. It's been replaced by the Voyager 200, um, commonly called the V200, and then there's the Inspire CAS. Now, there's another type of calculator. There aren't other types of calculators. These aren't non CASs. So these are your TI 83s, your 83 pluses, 84 pluses, 85s, 86s, 82s, and also your Inspires. The difference between the Inspire and the Inspire with the CAS is just that the Inspire CAS has a computer algebra system. Now there are advantages and disadvantages to each type of calculator. For one, well, let's talk about the very first disadvantage. It's they're both very expensive. Usually you're starting at $100 for 83s and 84s and somewhere around 150 for 89 titaniums and a lot more for inspires. So, let's talk about the advantages with a CAS. It's easier to read off first off. Like for example, if you're trying to take the sum of a series the sum of a series on a CAS, you would first type in the syntax as shown right here. So on here on the TI-89, you would you would go into the uh, calc menu and select sum and it gives you the sigma. I just wrote sum right there because it's easy to see. And you would type in the syntax. So it would be three times one half raised to the x minus 1 x minus 1 and then you put the variable that's that's your index from 1 to 6 and it gives it off as a uh, as if it was written in a textbook so it goes from syntax over to pretty print and pretty print is very easy to read because it shows you if you made an error in your typing now with non CAS calculators, um, these are usually slightly more basic and they uh they will always read in syntax. So now we're gonna talk about where you can usually use these. All these calculators are allowed on many AP on all AP exams as designated by uh, Texas Instruments. So if you're in AP Calculus, AP Physics, or AP Chemistry, even AP Statistics, um, you can use all these calculators with the exception of some. For example, you cannot use 92s and Voyager 200s because they are classified as computers because they have a standard quarter keyboard. Um, now, for if you're actually wanting to uh, buy one, I say if your plan is to go into college mathematics, for example, um, if you're planning to go into calculus, plan to go into um, physics, and probably even chemistry, I say get a CAS. But for uh, chemistry, usually you won't need all the computer algebra work. You'll probably need just go for an 84 or an 83. Uh, my preference is 84 because you can store more memory and programs to help you out. Also, um, all these calculators, with the exception of the Voyager 200 and the 92, are allowed on the SAT. So if you're taking the SAT Math 2 exam subject test, um, I say use a computer algebra system because it will help you out in the long run. 
So I guess I should clear up some uh, questions any people have about calculators. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact me.